Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Clawbot Slate. And today we are going to be working on the CF Moto 500 uh, Z Force, and it today is getting its first ever modification. So I'm excited for it. Um, today, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put a full waterproof stereo system in it. Now, there are lots of different waterproof stereo systems out there. This one is going to be a Bose system. So Bose is a really good brand. All the speakers are waterproof, amp is waterproofed, radio is waterproof. Everything about it is going to be waterproof so we can still mud in this thing and not have to worry about getting wet. So first things first, where we are going to, going to install these speakers. Now these speakers can be installed on any handlebar known to man. So that's exactly what this thing is. We're actually going to put it on the top roll cage. So uh, let me show you exactly where we're going to put those. So first things first, let me show you what the speakers are. Here's one of the boxes. I got two pairs. They're Bose speakers. They're 400 watts a piece, fully marinized, everything like that. So everything is waterproof about them. Essentially where I'm gonna mount them is I'm gonna mount them on the back here. So I know the lighting's a little bit difficult, but let me see if I can get a picture of that bar. So if you see the center crossbar right up here, I'm gonna have a speaker here and a speaker here on the other side. I was originally gonna put some in the front, but I don't think we're gonna have any room for it. So I'm going to have two in the middle and then I'm going to have two on the sides here. That's exactly where we'll mount them. To start the install process, I'm going to mount the speakers first before we do any wiring. Um, and I'll obviously test them before we even do any wiring and make sure it's nice exactly where I like it. But in order to do this, we're probably going to take the roof off to make it easier. So there's a few bolts on the top roof. I think there's two in the front and four in the back. So we're gonna take that off first and uh, we'll get started on mounting the speakers. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So I took the roof off and I got these speakers pretty much mounted. Now, there is a specific way you're supposed to mount these speakers in the instructions and they don't really seem to work. So I did it my own way. But with these, these are super tight on here and it's shaking the whole machine when I move it. So they're not gonna move. Um, I figured it out about halfway through on how to actually securely mount them. Um, these first two wiggle pretty pretty good, but I'm going to fix them up. But other than that, all four are pretty much in there. There are two Allen key holes, one right here and one right up here where they mount. And they just squish onto the handlebar basically. So that's pretty much how they mount. They come with rubber um, spacers and um, I mounted them that way. So the, out, the outer two are securely mounted. The center two, I need to take off again and redo them. But other than that, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Coming from the front, they look pretty badass. You have one on each side of your head, basically. So if you're the driver, you got one on your left, one on your right, passenger, one on your left, one on your right. So other than that, they are pretty much in. And now is the fun time for the wiring. I have my amp down here. I have all the wires hooked up. Um, <clears throat> on these CF motos, at least the 500s, the battery is located right behind the driver's uh, seat. And there's a plastic guard you have to take off. There's two 10 millimeter bolts and it gets us access to this battery. Now I prefer not to hook it straight onto the battery if I don't have to. So I think I looked in the manual and I think there's a uh, fuse box in here. I'm gonna see if it has any auxiliary power. If not, I will just tap into the battery But I'm going to go ahead and take this passenger seat off and see what we're looking like underneath To possibly even store the uh, amp as well so we can have everything hidden So let me take off the passenger seat and figure out what I'm going to do Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, so I figured out where I'm going to put the amplifier I am NOT gonna put it in the little storage unit here and underneath here there's a pump and then there's over there there's a couple electrical connections but i am going to put it right behind the driver's seat there is a little air pocket here where it could go same thing with the passenger side if you choose to put it on the passenger side um, but this amplifier fits just perfectly in there and i already got it screwed in and this thing ain't going nowhere and luckily for us since i put it on the driver's side luckily our battery terminal is right there so it looks like there's already a hole or two up here. I might be able to pass the wires through and uh, connect it to the battery. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and start hooking up our wires. I already have our wire harness with wires connected already. 
All these white wires are for the speakers. It's just regular audio wire. Uh, you can get it off Amazon, really cheap. And then I got some power cables for our battery terminals. And then other than that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, root our wire. I'm gonna put some loom on this so it looks nice and pretty. I'm gonna run it up this main sidebar here, up here, and then run it up along to where we get to our speakers. I'll probably run the wire on the inside, probably up towards the roof a little bit, up in this top bar here, and run it along so that way the wire just goes straight down. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed our wire in, and I'll let you know how I do get that done. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've got the uh, system pretty much installed. The last thing I have to do is the remote, which is gonna take some time because we are running it from the back to the front of the machine. Um, so I got everything wired up, everything is working, all the speakers are working good. So let me show you exactly what I did. So my amp is located right behind the driver's seat. Now the amp is the main control of everything. It is the radio, everything. So I got it screwed into the back behind the driver's seat. Now there is enough clearance because the driver's seat sits right about where that metal peg is. So we got plenty enough room. It's not gonna pinch any wires. So I got two sets of wires. I got this set of wires, which is our radio wires, which is all of our speakers. And then this set of wires is our power. And then I have one other wire, this little black one here, that's for the remote. Now this wire here is for the Bluetooth connection. So I might mount it up somewhere now here to get us a little bit more room. And then those other connections down there are just, if you decide to put a sub or anything in here, it is possible. So the power runs right down in the floorboard over there. There's a breather hole and it runs back here. I got the battery case off and I got it tapped into the battery. So power is good. Our radio wires are tucked underneath here as well and also run through the back and they run up this channel here there's a channel and then it comes out of this roll cage bar up here and it snakes along the roll cage bar up and around to the speakers so i color matched all the wires i did uh black heated electrical tape so i got it each wire splits off as it goes across the rear rack into the speakers and it is pretty much almost set, pretty much set in stone. I just gotta put a few more zip ties, but everything is good to go. Everything is connected. Everything will have zip ties. The roof is obviously gonna cover, uh, the roof is gonna cover about half this. So you'll just kind of see the speakers. So the wires are done. So now the last thing is the remote. Now the remote, I've done some thinking and I think I'm finally decided what I'm going to do. The radio wire, I can't really sneak it along the side here. So I'm gonna sneak it down the middle. So I'm gonna take, at least pop open this side down here and basically run it from the back where the seatbelt is up through the floorboard and then there's a breather hole right up front i'm gonna have to take this storage unit out of here so i can see the front and then i will get it routed to where i can go through this pole here and then route it up to where it goes in the center of the roof it's going to go into the center of the roof right up there so it's gonna mount right up here for now if I decide to move it later on I might put it here I haven't decided yet but uh, yeah I'm gonna pop off these covers and I'm gonna route my wire okay so scratch everything I just said about the remote because I don't know why I didn't think about this in the first place but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do but just in case you're gonna do exactly what I was about to do mounting it through the floorboard to the front let me show you exactly how you could do that so obviously once you get the the center floorboard out you're able to run your wire along the center console and then once you get the top popped off you can obviously see uh, i don't know if you guys can see it but there's a breather hole down there that you can run your wire and then run it up into this center pole here and go up but i'm not going to do that i'm actually going to do exactly what i did with the radio wires and i'm going to run them up the side here along the same pole and i'm going to bring it up even higher and just go through the top of the roof and over and mount it there. So now we don't have two wires coming up. We only just have the one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys how to mount the remote. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So I've got my remote wired up and I also cleaned the wires down in the amp box. So we are pretty much done with this installation. All my wires are wrapped up nice and neat in there. And the remote wire runs all the way up along here, up along the roof, across the roof. And then there is our remote right there so it's right above the driver's seat the passenger can also reach it if it needs to 
But other than that, this installation is done. So let's go ahead and uh, take a test drive and we'll finish off the video. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I ran out of daylight yesterday, but everything is installed on the CF Moto. All the wires are tucked away, all the speakers are where they need to be. The remote, the amp, and everything is tucked away. All the wires are tucked away. And guys, this thing came out awesome. The speakers from the back look great. Nothing really sticks out. You don't even really know it's really here. Um, so let me show you, and then we'll play a quick sound clip, and then I'll end off the video. All right, so just a quick thing. As you remember, our amp is tucked in right behind the driver's seat. There is no wires hanging out anywhere. Remember, our main wire goes up the side here, out to the side rail, and then up on top where the speakers are. And as you can tell, the speakers are mounted great. And then the remote wire runs along the top here, comes down the side, and then our remote is right there. And then from the back, this is all you see on the back you just see the wires come straight down nothing hanging everything's color matched so it really blends in uh, together we're gonna go ahead and turn on our sound system so now I'm gonna play some copyright music because YouTube loves uh, copyright so let's go ahead and play some copyright music so as you guys can tell these things are pretty loud uh, definitely most loud but now um these speakers produce quite a bit of bass so i could definitely feel it in the machine itself and as you guys can tell i'm a good distance away and you can still hear that music so guys that is that completes today's video on the install of the surround sound system in the side by side uh just remember guys this sound system is completely waterproof so i could completely submerge this and it'll just be fine so uh I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a like, and if you have not already, subscribe to Call Boss Lee. And guys, we will catch you on the next one.